TC. It's Hi. us again. Hi, TC. Uh, today, Ella and I have got a Oreodont skull to show you. So this is here, a skull of an Oreodont. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to show you what an Oreodont used to look like. So here is a picture of what they think an Oreodont used to look like. We can see its head up here. It had some stripes and ears. It had two legs in the front, two legs at the back, and a tail. And he, it used to look like what they think was a prehistoric pig. So, long time ago, this used to live 38 million years ago, and used to live in North America. Exactly. Exactly. So, what we've got here, down here, is the skull. So, it looks like a rock, but if we turn it around the other side, we can see the skull. So in here, we can actually see where it was pulled out of the rock by the paleontologists. And we can see up here, in, the, in here, the reason why they left it still in the rock was that it started to fall apart when they started to take it out of the rock. So they actually left it in the rock so it wouldn't fall apart and we could see the type of rock that it came from. Because if it fell apart, what could it come from? Well, we wouldn't know that it was an oreodont skull, or maybe the paleontologists could have figured that out, actually. So here, we can see the eye. Over, over on this side here, we can see that's where his eye socket used to be. And on this side, somewhere inside the rock is his other eye. And down here, right in the front, we can see his teeth. Poking out. Poking out. So we can come around here and we can actually see his teeth on that side. Arr! And on that side, we can see his, see his teeth. Now, he had big grinding back teeth, big flat grinding back teeth, and they were for eating the plants, because he was a... Plant eater. And that's a herbivore. So these grinding teeth here were for grinding up the, up the food that he was eating. So we can see here at the, uh, at the back that his brain was somewhere in, uh, whoops, somewhere in here, um, and that's his eye socket. So... We bought this in Drumheller, which is in Canada, in North America. And we've got here a picture of what Drumheller, the rocks where they, uh, they dug this uh, Oridont skull up out of. And there were so many, um, so many fossils in here, in this, in this place, that they actually had a shop that you could go and buy dinosaur fossils in. There were so many fossils, and in the same shop where I bought that... that uh, Oridont skull, I also saw this Triceratops. You can see see his big horns on his head. He had another little horn here and the big big uh, fin behind his head. So this Triceratops, uh, you could have actually bought this entire skeleton for 20,000 American dollars. And that was too much money for me. You so, had enough to buy this. So I had enough to buy this and bring it home. So that was all that I could do for the day. So this is our Triceratops picture and our Oreodont skull. So that's what we have to show you today uh, is our Triceratops, <laughs> our Oreodont. Don't. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.